Hi again. Are you ready for some more stories? Well, this time, well, we're going to have the last ever story. Yeah, just till we get to revolting. And today's story is called Just Like You by Jane Chapman again. Now, when you hear this sound, my brain piggle up. That means that there will be money in the book. Well, just the pops, really. But we'll find out. But are you ready? Here we go. Just like you. Piccolo was the tiniest, fussiest mammoth, mammoth in the herd. Speak up and off and humming, murmured Pop Mama. Brighter than a brightest star, smiled Pops, and they snuggled her cosily. Piccolo soon began to wander at the huge world around her. Wow! She gasped as the mother of her travelled through past icy plains and past towering icebergs. She sheltered between Mama and Pops when storms raged, the sky's angry roars echoing through the mountains. You're safe with me, precious, whispered Pops, drawing her close, but Piccolo was afraid. I'm so tiny and the world is enormous, she thought. Never let me be like Pops and Mama. Now Pops was Piccolo's hero. He toppled the tallest tree so that she could nibble on juicy shoots. He plowed through snowdrifts so that she could have room to play. He even shuffled up snowflakes and puffed them out in a cooling whoosh of sparkles. But when Piccolo pushed at the tree, their knees barely rustled. When she tried to break through snowdrifts, she needed to be rescued, and snuffling up snow always ended the same way. <laughs> you light up my day, little one, <laughs> laughed Pop, ruffling her fur. Be little, sniffed Piccolo. I want to be big and strong like you. You will be one day, maybe even bigger, said Mal, said Pops. But for now, Mama and I are here to look out for you, Piccolo sighed. Then one day, Pops had an idea. There's something special I'd like to show you, but it's a long way away, he smiled. Do you feel big enough for a journey, just the two of us? Piccolo squealed with delight. The next morning, they waved goodbye to Mama and set off towards the mountain. Come on, Pops, Piccolo called, try to keep up. The sun climbed higher in the sky as Piccolo hopped and jumped in Pop's big footprints, but her skipping turned to shuffling as the day went on. Slower and slower. Up you go, sweetheart, chuckled Pops, scooping Piccolo high with his trunk and turning her around. I don't want to go back, I want to keep going. Cried Piccolo. What about the special something? Uh, we're not going home yet, <laughs> said Laugh Pops. But just look how far you come. Snaking away towards the horizon of truck was a trail of footprints. I'm so proud of you, grinned Pops. That is a very long walk for a very small mammoth. Piccolo was amazed that her tiny steps had taken her so far. Pops trudged onward till the snow sun turned to snow pink. Rising up before them was a huge tree, leafless and alone. We're here, whispered Pops. Piccolo was confused. But I thought we were coming to see something special. She snuffled. Pops said Pick slipped Piccolo down to his trunk. Look closer, he smiled. There on a tree were lines and swirls etched into bark. Every mark celebrates a mammoth, said Pops. Look, this is me. My mama measured me up against this tree when I was just the same age as you. And you were even smaller than me, gasped Piccolo, trading a line with her trunk. Pops took a stick and marked just above Piccolo's head. Every year, we'll come back to this tree, and you'll see that you've grown a little bit more, he said. And every year, you'll see that you're still enormous, Daddy, giggled Piccolo, scrapping up to make him a new mark. Let's go tell Mama all about our day, said Pops, turning up into the wind. Snow whirled around his feet as they began the long journey home. I love you, Pops, yawned Piccolo, snuggling into the sofa. And one day, I'll be big and strong, just like you. And we hope you enjoyed the story of Just Like You. And that was the very last ever story that I'll ever read to you. Hey, but don't worry, though. We got the book and it's called Roald Dahl's Revolting Rhymes. 
and of course uh, that's when we're going to be doing it in the next one. So, I will see you then in six stories. Bye bye then viewers, bye bye for now.